Perform all these miracles, Doctor. Yes, sure, Cornelius. As sure as I breathe, Doctor. Then I will invoke these spirits tonight, Faust. For this is the time when lightning and fire crackles across the world. Where do I be? Meet me in the north meadow in an hour. You will invoke the spirits there. Will you come? Yes. We shall come to them up tonight. Cornelius, look at me. You are seeing Faust as an old man for the last time. <laughs> Cornelius! Cornelius! The wind howls me down. Cornelius! Doctor Here, yeah, Cornelius, by this tree! Oh, I thought you were coming. Ah, the weather, your spirit, pick for their freedom. Ah, uh, this is their element, Doctor. Are you ready? I've been ready ever since old age. Shut me down. Then we will invoke them here upon this snow, Doctor. I'll stay within the charmed circle that I draw on the ground. Thus. Oh. There. Stand. Now, Faust, stand straight and bold. Have no fear. For you are safe within this circle. Come, be quick. My skin's as wet as a rag. And listen. I shall invoke the spirit now. Praise me, O Lord and Master. Monarch of the dark in the final world, great Lucifer, Emperor, King of the secret regions of lightning and fire, raise me an agent. Up 
from the bottomless realm sent him. Come, Mephistopheles! I have a soul, Mephistopheles! A soul for Lucifer! You have done well, Cornelius. You may go now. Goodbye, Faust. Goodbye, Cornelius. You... You wanted me, Dr. Faust? Where's Cornelius? He vanished. He is gone, Doctor. His task is done. He brought me to you. Who are you? I am called Mephistopheles, minister to Lucifer, art regent of the underworld. Now, Doctor, you called me. What for? To serve me, Mephistopheles. To do whatever I command. Be to drain the sea or give me my youth again. I will, Faust. Then give me my youth now. We must be bound first. Bound? A deed must be signed. You will buy my services with your soul, Faust. And I shall serve you until the deed expires. How long will the deed run? Twenty-four years. Then I was doing Twenty-four years of youth. I will bring the deed. Lucifer must sign it. Wait here, Paul. I will wait anywhere. I shall return in a little while. How he departs, royally, lightning and fire. Ah, but soon, soon your old age will wither, Paul. Oh, dear, see the instant of the change. And through Mephistopheles, I shall be emperor of the world. Potentate extraordinary, grand ruler of the sea and air. I shall have power and glory. I shall be as brilliant as the noonday sun. Leave this blasphemous art, Faust. Hey, the Wagner boy. Wagner, where are you? You are in mortal danger of being damned. And now Cornelius is going. Hey, Cornelius. Come back. Come back. The devil can take you. There is time yet, Mum. Come back to God. Your youth out in the world like a ripe fruit in your hand. Mr. Tuffley. Yes. I have been hearing voices. The wind, Mum. Here is the deed signed with Lucifer's name. You will sell your soul to him? I will. Find this seed in your own blood, then, Faust. Tell me, uh, what good will my soul do, great Lucifer? It will enlarge his kingdom. And yours is a worthy game. Stab your arm with its dagger. I must lead my way into your kingdom, huh? But what? I do it willingly. The blood flows. Dip the pen in and write. Dr. John Faust is so... Oh! The blood continues. It will not flow. I will bring you warm. Boy. Wait. Is my blood unwilling to write that John Faust gives his soul? Repent, Faust. Repent. Do not deny thy God. Power, Faust. Pleasures none has ever dreamed of. What need has you of God? Here's warm for your arm, Paul. Put it to the wound. There. Now my blood begins to flow again. Right on the street. I, Dr. John Paul, give my soul to this. Representative Jack Grant him after 24 years of obedience to a list, hearing which we must have remained invisible to all but Sir John Paul. Full power to set and carry me, my soul, my flesh and blood into their kingdom. I'm by me, John Fox. There, stop. Give me the deed. Take it. Now, Mr. Stop, please. You will serve me from this moment on. What would you have me do with my first back? My youth. Give me my youth again. Then look. Here in this mirror I hold. Yes. Look. Light. Light. You bolt of lightning. Light. 
helpless in the mirror. I'm young. 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 And you have power. Yes, he had power. With it rose his fame. He who was only honored for the wisdom of his mind now was revered for the unholy miracles he could perform. And each wonder, each deed born of his union with the devil, further damned his soul. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> one a joke. That's all it was. <laughs> if the young man had kept the civil tongue in his head, I would not have crowned him with horns. The look upon his face when he discovered me. He would have died in shame if you hadn't removed him, Doctor. I'm glad your ladyship enjoyed the joke. But tell me, perhaps there's something you desire, my lord. Something my power can perform for you. There is, Doctor. What is it? The sight of something, Doctor, of someone long dead. Someone I've always wanted to see as he truly was. Who, my lord? Alexander the Great. I can show him to you. Not his true substantial body, but spirit who shall faithfully reproduce the man. I shall be satisfied, Doctor. Then stop here a moment and watch the opposite wall of this room. Alexander shall be there. Let me stop me. <laughs> out of the mist of memory, out of the impression on time, my spirit weaves the figure, form the shape. And it is Alexander! Alexander! <laughs> He's walking across the room. A more noble figure of a man I have never seen. Look how his eyes flash with strength and power. He is gone. Come. How shall I thank you for this, Doctor? Give the devil his due, your lordship. What? Uh, nothing, my lord. The pleasure was all mine. Now you will excuse me. Must you be going, Doctor? I must. Shall we see you soon? Perhaps. And now, goodbye. Farewell. Farewell, Doctor. Ah, Nurse Duffy. He made them bow and scrape. If you were visible, they would have glanced with fear in the bargain. Would you have their title, spouse? <laughs> their wealth? Their property? <laughs> what? <laughs> their? No, Nurse Duffy. What do I want with their? When with the devil behind me, I possess the like some great and monstrous bell clang through cities and nations. For all the strange secrets of this globe were known to him through Mephistopheles. His eyes beheld what none before had ever seen. Together they plumbed the sea, saw in a flashing vision the great unexplored regions of the world. Yes, Faust's knowledge became vast and great, but each man reaches the end of seeing, grows tired of the real world, and craves the unknown. Stop. Stop, Mr. I'm tired. Let's rest a while. Shall I show you the kingdom of the ancient pharaohs as it was? Or the flourishing splendor of the forgotten city of Atlantis? City, building, power, peace. I think there are many I can distinguish none. What would you have then, Faust? Will you grant me anything? Whatever lies within my power, our pact says. Then show me Lucifer's kingdom. Hell? Yes, hell. Now, Paul? Yes, now. Let me see my monarch's kingdom, the dim land of which my soul shall be a citizen. You are prepared for what you will see? I've seen too much to know fear. Then stand by my side, Paul. Hold to my cloak. Be resolute. I am. The gate. Open the gate. Devils and kings, split wide the gateway to Lucifer's kingdom. The wind is rising. It's getting dark, Mephistopheles. A safe road for Mephistopheles, minister of Lucifer. That you see, I wear the badge of your king. 
Where are we, Mr. Sullivan? Upon the first level of hell, Powell. Miss Carmen, why? What is that glow? Fire, Powell. Come close. Look. The sea is fire. What's that? Turning and twisting in it. Oh, look at that. Something is flying there, Mr. Sophonies. Oh, one I left for brothers in this realm. Ah, yes. This is the geography of the beautiful sea. Oh, how the soul twists and torture, Mr. Sophonies. Oh, do all the damned. And I am damned. That glow upon the opposite side of the cavern. It reveals something. A chair. A great chair, black and shining as ebony. It's a throne. And on it. On it sits. Who, Mr. Sutton? Who? Lucifer. Up your knees, before your Lord. But time does not stand still, and the moment of reckoning came near. Faust grew melancholy, and sometimes his deeds filled him with terror and fear of God's wrath. There were nights he swung up from his bed, his body sweating, his eyes wild, his mind overwhelmed with nightmare vision. Father! 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 Who is it? It's I, Faust. Let me in for pity's sake. Let me in. What is it, Doctor? Father. Oh, shut the door. Oh. What happened, Doc? I dreamed, Roger. I dreamed the frightening vision. I cried out. The agony was up on screen. I saw fire, Roger. And myself twisting and turning in such piercing pain. Great flames lifted. In the darkness, there was lost, Roger. Mocking with us. Like an army of swift hands. Listen to me, Doc. Listen and believe. Give up this evil partnership of yours with the devil. You had a vision of your own eternal damnation, Faust. Repent. Leave this corruption. God will forgive if you repent in time. I'm far too cursed and damned. Call for his mercy. Grace can still be yours. He will forgive my sin? Yes, Faust. The Lord's mercy is bound to own grace. I? With my sin? What salvation can there be for me, but Despair grips my heart. What have I done? Sold my immortal heritage. For a curse. There is time yet, Doctor. Repent. If only there were. Pray. Pray. I will. God, I will. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Sutherland, who are you calling? Traitor, I arrest your soul for disobedience and revolt against my sovereign lord. I claim flesh and blood and all that is done out. Free me, Mr. Sutherland. You signed a pact. Release me from it. Here. This dagger will release you. Lunge it into yourself. No. No. Doctor, doctor. Then I shall seize your soul. Now. Let it trouble me. Forgive me. I will confirm my vow. You must leave my soul. Then confirm with a true heart. Or greater danger will befall you. I swear by my blood that great Lucifer is my true lord. Repent, doctor. Repent. Try that word from your lips, partner. Doctor, God will. Silence. Get out! Goodbye, Doc. May God have pity on me. Are you satisfied with my loyalty, Mr. Sovereign? I am. I was weak for a moment, then. You will forget it. It is forgotten, Faust. And to prove it, what shall I do to lift your spirit, Faust? What is there left to do? Shall I command blind Homer sing to you? Did Solomon the wise discord? No, I killed his one. I'm... You recall something? What is it, Paul? My wife. Give me my young and lovely wife again, Mr. Tuffy. Only for a little while. Let me embrace her beloved form. I will, Paul. <laughs> Helen, wife of John Paul. Helen, 
out of the vast reaches of the timeless world, arise, Helen, wife of John Howe. Helen! He comes. Helen. This must have stopped me. This was the place that made my grief a thing of you. This truly was my soul. Oh, Mrs. Sotheby's, how green the spring was when Helen was at my side. How cool and fresh the day. How full of beauty was the night. Oh, Helen. Still you're clad in the beauty of a thousand stars. Still fell in the evening air. Come. Come, sweet Helen. Give me a kiss once again. Oh, Helen. The years allotted him crept slowly toward the appointed hour, and Dr. Faust cursed that youth and those desires that had led him down this long and crooked road of evil. On the momentous night of reckoning, a church bell was tolling nearby, and Faust listened to it in his study. Opposite him sat a visitor, the noble lord he had performed for. Go away, my lord. Go! Come to our house only once more, doctor. My wife, her ladyship, beg your company just one more time. I have an appointment with someone else. I shall be detained a long while. Go away. He cannot forget the wonders you say to stop that. There is someone she wishes to see again. Raised up out of the past as you raised Alexander for me. I'm afraid myself, sir. Huh? Go away, you fool. Must I perform like a common mountebank in my last hour? What do you mean, doctor? I've done enough sin and go away. Are you ill? Ill? Yes. Think of too much power, wonder, the dealings with the damned. Oh, if I'd ever read a book or seen the city. If only I'd be a country peasant, dull as the earthy power. My good doctor. Sick to love. Sick with my loss. Oh, I have lost my God. They shut me off from his love. Who, oh, doctor? I don't understand. Hey, Lucifer and his agent, let it properly. Who? Who? Has any mortal man ever had the power I held? For all my wonders, for all my coming, I gave my soul. God forbid, he did, my Lord. He did. I did not. The pleasure was sweet. And I had my youth again. I gave the devil a tea, the gift of my soul, and I am damned. But this was all our power. The king said, I am. Oh, hey, can't you hear that thunder? You'll carry it with me. Can I save you, Dr. Save yourself. They're coming. Pray for forgiveness with what? What virtue have I left? Then I will pray for you. Yes, pray. Pray. But go. If only into the next room. Go. All right, Doctor. I'll go. Whatever noise you hear, do not come. For nothing, nothing can rescue me. Oh, Father. Oh, I'll be in heaven. Now. Now come, you hordes of the underworld. If only midnight. If only midnight never came. And this, this precious moment went on forever. The time we left. The minutes were dropped like grains of sand. And they were calm, eager, their mouths watering for their royal awards. They ride the fastest wind. Oh, my God! Forgive me! If I bartered what was your most precious gift, my soul. But who? Who can forgive the deeds I did? The blasphemies I performed? Who? No one, Faust. Mr. Sotheby. In the name of great Lucifer, arch regent of hell, I demand your soul. No, Mr. Sotheby, no. You revolt. Release me from my head. Never. Let me be an old man again, wrinkled, crawling to his chest. Too late, Faust. Too late. I beg you. No. Bring up. Devils and thieves, kill them, kill this soul. My Lord, my Lord, save me, save me, save me, oh my God, save my soul. was done. Cut was the branch that might have grown so straight. 
damned was the soul that might have climbed to God. My brother, listen. What shall it avail a man if he, when he gains the world, loses his immortal soul? Doorkeeper, hold the bell. 